Welcome to this series of introductory tutorials to the Talisman Suite 6. My name is Chris. I am the developer, designer and graphic artist for this development. When you first go into Talisman Suite 6, you are greeted with this splash screen. The version number is, the current version is 6.8.57. Anything previous to that you should really update. Imagenesis.co.uk is the website where you can pick up the software. This software is freeware. It should not cost you a penny. This is being given away as freeware because uh, Visual Basic 6 is no longer being supported and um, its main development was for XP. However, Windows 7 runs this quite well. Uh, this is licensed to any single user on a single PC. Corporate, li corporate licenses are needed for telephone call centre based companies. Hi and welcome to this tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to use the BIOS. There's only one selection of the BIOS and that's the reader itself. This is very simplistically based. As you can see when it, default, when it came in here it defaulted to anybody any name. and it will change to any one that you select. So we'll take John Wayne. Now, this is quite straightforward. You can output Control O, load Control L, save Control S. You can enter a date of birth, and that will change this information here. If you cancel it, it makes no changes. So. You can choose a client and you could add more clients for you here and then choose the new client, then accept it. You know, just cancel, keep John Wayne, and uh, you can exit out of the program. Now, when you change between clients, as you can see, it does the biorhythms for them. So, the capabilities of this program are that you can step up, say your client says to you, I'm going away on holiday in March, and I'm going away on March the 15th, and I want to know what my buyer of them is after for that period. So we just step up, 14 days at a time to get to March, and there's the 12th, and then we just step up to the 15th. Now once you've set this grid, you can then output the BIOS. Now, the Control O will do the thing for you. It is put into the editor, all nicely formatted out. John Wayne, his physical day is 6, his emotional day is 24, and his intellectual day is 1 on the cycle. That's the yellow one there. The emotional one is blue, and it's on day 24 of you. And um, it's on day six of the emotion, uh, the physical, and that's the red one. So as you can see, what we've got here is we've got a biorhythm output for 28 days. So you can give them a free biorhythm, email it to them by just saving it out. So we'll just save that. And then we'll load, uh, we'll just load a previous one first, we'll load this one. Now that was John Wayne and it was done at 20.42, not oh, 21.10. Ah, there it is, the buyer of them, right, so, um, in the, the previous I check. So, load the, the thing back up, and what you can do is you can just go,
when you said that, the information goes out there. <coughs> there you go. So, and you've got a month spider on there, so you can type up your type up your uh, reading for them there, and that's that. It's very very simple to use. It's as straightforward as it can get, and as you can see, it takes the date that you actually have shown as the start date for the output. So you just step up to it. I'm going to show you one of the, one or two of the things about this. Uh, we'll go forward. There you go. There's a Friday the 13th, all nicely blacked out for the superstitious in the world, and uh, as you can see, he's got a critical going through Friday the 13th and it's an emotional critical so if it just keeps a level head you'll be fine um, so um, one of the other developments for this is to actually add in here a small graphic showing you the moon phases so that uh, it can let you know how the universe is standing while you're standing in it and that is quite simply the biorhythms. Uh, very easy to use and very simple. And the output is um, set a start date, if you double click on it, watch what happens to the graphics, it sets it back to zero. <laughs> so you can scroll up all you like and all you need to do is double click on that and it will bring you back to the present date. Now the time and date is actually stepped up by this, so when you change that it changes the date that your start date is from. The date of birth shows the days they've been alive from 1903 to the present day is 40,579 days and 26 leap years. Oh, sorry, in that there are 26 leap years. Isn't that amazing? 70 odd years. So, um, it shows you the physical, the emotional, the intellectual. And that is the viral. Just check something. Seven seven twenty two. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you can see, you can step up to a previous uh, to a, a, a forward holiday time. You can step backward in time and sort of retrospectively look at things that happen. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and I've not rambled too much. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one, which is for the iChip.